All right, hey gang, got a glary light back here. So this is kind of step two of customizing a Ertl tracker, um, particularly these older John Deere 60 and 70 series four wheel drives, which are very easy to dress these up and make them look cool. Uh, you might remember the first video I did, which was removing the tires off these with a heat gun, and um, that worked pretty slick. As you saw, I could do it in no time on the video. So the next step here is because we're going to take this to a, a, a high level here. We're going to fill this hood seam in and eventually we're going to cut this grill out and put a real mesh grill in here. And I'm considering doing the same thing over here. We'll see. <laughs> and I've also scratch built fenders for this rear because these fenders are nice. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're a nice fender, but they're actually a little thin compared to uh, the real ones, the real ones kind of have a drop down here and back here for the lights. So uh, I went ahead and just rebuilt uh, the fenders and then we're going to fill, oops, sorry, we're going to fill in this seam as well to give that a good look. We'll dress up this rear end, all that. That's down the road a little bit. So the goal today or with this video is I want to drill out these rivets. So you can see we've got one, two, three rivets. And what that's going to allow us to do is that's going to allow us to pull this casting in half so that we can fill this seam well. And we're also pulling this cab top off, or this cab, this whole cab off, because we're going to replace it with this clear cab version, which is also an Ertl version. You can see here I marked, I was actually, um, this is a 70 series four wheel drive. I was actually going to cut out the grill and everything to make this a 60 series because the 60 series, believe it or not, are getting a little trickier to find. But then I found one of my collection <laughs> that I had already uh, customized. Now I've knocked off the some of the custom stuff I've done already on this because this was an older custom, it wasn't that good. But anyway, we are getting rid of this cab. We're gonna put this cab on here. And each tractor has the same rivets Actually, there's actually four of them. Uh, you can see them. So that's what we're going to do. All right, here we go. I guess we can start with this one. Bring up our platform. Just a hair here. So I'm using a drill press. You could use uh, you could use just a power drill, a cord, like a cordless drill, a corded drill. You could use a Dremel. If you want, doesn't matter. The drill press is just a, a, a tad easier to hold everything. So that's why I'm using the drill press here. Just kind of go straight into it, or as straight as you can through that rivet. Apply a, a nice even pressure. Don't over, uh, you know, don't, don't pull super hard. There's no need to get carried away here. All right, let's look at that real quick. Probably need to go a little deeper. Might even need to go with a bigger bit. But I'm gonna drill these others out real quick. So sometimes these are a little hard to get straight because of the casting. That's okay. Oh, I broke my bit. Look at that, guys. There you go. El cheapo bit there. I think I bought, I bought like a package of 25 bits for who knows what. I'm gonna pause real quick while I change this out. Okay, got my bit changed out. Uh, went with I've gone with a little bit bigger bit, a little stronger bit. This is a farm store bit versus the Harbor Freight bit. So um, I need to adjust my platform just a hair because this new bit is bigger and it's a little longer. So, all right, let's see how that does, huh? Now, if you feel like your bit's not cutting real well, or it's getting too hot, you can always use some lubricant to drill through. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this first one. Oh yeah, that went all the way through. We need to hit this one just a hair more. All right, we're through. It caught, it caught because there's a little cross member inside there, and it caught on that, which is why, uh, it did what it did. We'll have to. 
Oh, I, bet that, I bet that decal is what's holding this together at this point. There we go. Nope, I was, I was wrong. <clears throat> Never had one be tricky like that before. Usually, you get those two rivets, and it's ready to come off. It just flies apart on you, but this one's being tricky. Oh, I may not have that. Now that rivet, now that rivet's being a uh, being contrary. Sorry about the phone call or the message there, guys, on the phone. All right, so just a quick update. It's actually been a while since I pulled one of these apart. I guess so. There's a barbed, uh, like what would we call that stud? I guess up on the top of the hood. And you can see it goes in that hole right there. That's what was holding me up, but. Got it. It's uh, just had to work it a little bit with my needle nose pliers and a screwdriver and it came right out. So no trouble there really. Now here is what we're really after is this cab top or this cab. And uh, we're going to pull all this apart eventually and detail this out, this uh, interior out more. Uh, we're going to paint it so that it doesn't look so plasticky. We're going to paint the parts that need to be black black. We're going to put some levers in. So that's another day. All right. Last part. Two more rivets. You know what, this is going to be not easy to get even. So I've got a little bracket here. It's still, it's still not going to hold. So you got to find something here every once in a while. Just got to improvise, guys. Just uh, So I want this to be as level as possible. That way we don't break a bit, and that way we get a good drill. So I just had to find a little piece of wood. I keep, I keep little wedges and woods and things around here. Um, just for this reason, so. This is being a little contrary, and I want to be safe here. That's not going to work. Um, <laughs> old tractor tire. That'll do. <clears throat> okay. There it goes. So check that out. We've got our rear ha halves, so that's it, guys. That's uh, so. This was the 70 series. 60 series does the same thing. I'm not going to show you that. That's just extra video you guys don't care about. But anyway, that is taking apart a John Deere or Ertl John Deere, whatever uh, four wheel drive from the say 80s and 90s uh, to customize it. Next video, uh, I'll try to get to it as soon as I can, and I'll show you filling these hood seams and all that good stuff. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy tractor hunting.